Four months after Brexit, relations between the EU and Great Britain are finally on a legal foundation. However, the new rules are already being applied. The European Parliament has finally approved the Brexit trade pact with Great Britain. According to EU Parliament President David Sassoli, out of 697 votes cast, 660 members voted for the agreement, which enables trade without tariffs and quotas between the two. It should finally come into force at the end of the week through publication in the EU official journal. After months of negotiations, the European Union and Great Britain had finalized the agreement on Christmas Eve 2020, just one week before the UK left the EU internal market and the customs union. Since there was not enough time for ratification, it has been applied provisionally since January 1st. The aim was to prevent a heartbreak with legal uncertainty and chaos at the borders. The most important point of the treaty is to avoid tariffs, allow unlimited trade in both directions and limit frictional losses as much as possible. However, there are still customs formalities and controls. Among other things, it checks whether products are really mainly manufactured in Great Britain and whether food meets the required standards. The contract also regulates corporations in the areas of energy, transport, justice and the police. The fishing rights, for a long time the most important point of contention, have also been clarified. A transition period of five and a half years was agreed, during which EU fishermen are allowed to fish 25% less in British waters. This should then be determined annually. As a result of the treaty, Great Britain will now have access to the EU internal market with goods mostly. The EU in turn demands fair competitive conditions, the so-called level playing field. What is meant are the same environmental, social and subsidy standards on both sides of the channel. EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen recognized the contract in the parliamentary debate on Tuesday and promoted its acceptance. The agreement protects the rights of the citizens, prevents significant breaks for the economy, safeguards the EU internal market and EU standards. Parliament had long postponed ratification. The reason was the dispute with Great Britain over customs controls in Northern Ireland. The EU accuses Great Britain of violating the Northern Ireland Protocol in the Brexit Agreement, the so-called Withdrawal Agreement, which is already in force and which is supposed to guarantee open borders between British Northern Ireland and the EU member Ireland. Ultimately, however, on Tuesday, all the major political groups agreed to ratify it. It was achieved shortly before the deadline of April 30th, agreed with Great Britain. In June 2016, a narrow majority of British voters voted for the country to leave the EU in a referendum. This was formally completed on January 31st, 2020. However, there was still a transition period until December 31st, 2020, during which the UK, the UK remained in the single market and in the customs union. The deep changes in everyday life did not come until January 1st, 2021. Among other things, trade collapsed drastically at the beginning of the year. And we will have to deal with the consequences of that decision for a very long time. And if you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see something more special than the regular videos on Sunday, for the very first time, I'm going to have a guest on my channel and a very special one as well. So don't forget Sunday, 1800 CET. Come and visit me on my channel for my live stream. I'm looking forward to see you. And if you want to see more of me today, there will be another video today on this channel as well. Auf Wiedersehen.